The Haunted Castle It's Halloween night. You and a couple of your friends jokingly decide to go into a haunted castle. Because you're stupid. It's all fun and games until you enter the foyer. That's when the front door slams shut behind your back. You're now scared out of your mind. But it gets worse. You hear a creepy voice, not mine, coming out of nowhere and say… Alright, I'll do the voice. There are four doors in this room, and if you want to make it out of my castle alive, you'll need to choose only one of them. You'll be given a gun with just one silver bullet that can kill any animal. If you open the first door, you'll find a raging fire behind it. Upon opening the second door, you'll be met by two fire-breathing dragons ready to burn you to ashes. <laughs> and the third door will surprise you with a ravenous lion and a wolf hiding inside. Behind the fourth door, there's a pool of hungry sharks. So guys, what will your choice be? You and your friends have just 15 seconds to get out of this trap alive. If you've chosen the third door, congratulations! You're absolutely right! The thing is that if the lion is hungry, it would devour the wolf and remain the lone survivor in the room. This way, you and your pals can use the bullet to kill the lion and get out of this spine-chilling castle. Elevator Escape So, you're stuck on the top floor of a skyscraper. To add fuel to the fire, no, it's not burning. This building is about to be demolished. There's not a single soul around to help you out. There are no windows or stairs in this construction. All you can do to get out to safety is one of three elevators. Oh no, you didn't think it would be so easy, did you? Mm -mm. The first elevator is occupied by an extremely dangerous spider with such potent venom that if it bites you, you'll be dead in under three seconds. How charming! The second elevator is full of mosquitoes that carry a fatal disease. It's incredibly difficult to find a vaccine for this infection. As for the third elevator, its shaft is filled to the brim with boiling water. Where do they come up with this stuff? If you decide to go down in this elevator, the water will definitely seep into the cabin and scald you to death. So, you're in a pretty tight spot. And you have to pick one elevator to get out of the building before the demolition starts. Which one will it be? It's a tough choice, and you have just 15 seconds to get out of this life-or-death situation. If you decided to go down in the mosquito-infested elevator, then you've made the right choice. First off, you can't be 100% sure that they'll bite you. They might just leave you alone. Secondly, however small, there is a chance to find a vaccine. That's better than none. The door to freedom You're locked in a prison cell. You've been given some food and a bucket of water enough to last for three days. However, you do have a chance at freedom. There are three doors, surprise, surprise, leading out of the cell. But the first reveals a 20-foot wall of fire. The second leads to a polar bear with her cub. And behind the third one, there's of course a lake full of hungry crocodiles. You have 15 seconds to decide which door will set you free. If you're still not sure, sorry, but it was kind of a trick question. Door number three will help you escape through the first door. You should use your bucket to fight the fire with the water from the lake while distracting the crocodiles with your food. Forget about the second door. The bear will try to protect her cub even if you offer it your food. The Cave Crisis Well, it's not your day. You've gotten lost in a cave. Maybe you're an esteemed speleologist or an adrenaline junkie spelunker. Hey, be the spelunker. It's a whole lot easier to pronounce. Anyway, what matters is that it's your first time in this particular cave, and you don't have a clue where to go. And as soon as you decide to head back to where you came from, 
you see that the tunnel that led you inside has become blocked by fallen stones. And then you notice five passages. Each of them can take you outside. But alas, nothing in this life is so simple. Each of them contains grave danger. In passage number one, you'll be greeted by a landslide, and the tunnel will immediately fill with stones. Poisonous gas fills passage number two. It's extremely toxic to animals. Did you bring your dog? Passage number three is home to huge, blood-sucking bats. If you get bitten by one of these monsters, you'll be infected with a deadly disease. Passage number four is a little too steamy for comfort. It's filled with hot lava ready to sear you in seconds. Radioactive plants grow in passage number five. Radioactive plants? The huge doses of radiation they emit kill instantly. So which tunnel will you choose to get out of this crisis? You have 15 seconds to decide what scares you the most. Fire? Radiation poisoning? Perhaps blood-sucking beasts? Well, in fact, all the passages will lead to your untimely demise. All but one. The tunnel filled with gas. How so? You had to be very attentive to notice that the gas kills only animals. You aren't an animal, are you? Well, to split hairs, I kind of am an animal. But, you know, that's not the thing. So, the gas is the right answer. A dangerous game. You've been kidnapped by a mad scientist that wants to do unspeakable experiments on you. He tells you that you can win your freedom back. The only thing you have to do to get out is to go through one of three doors. Alright, what's with the ominous door thing here? Anyway, behind the first door, there are motion sensors. If you activate any of them, you'll be frozen on the spot by a powerful release of liquid nitrogen. Behind the second door, you'll be met by a crazy serial killer who killed 357 people, all of whom were eating oatmeal, get it, cereal? <laughs> Way back in 1836. If you enter the third door, you'll be showered in acid. If you've always wondered what it's like to be a liquid, pick this door without a doubt. So, the choice is obviously incredibly hard. And what's even worse, you have just 15 seconds to plan your life-saving strategy. If you paid attention to the details, you must have heard that the serial killer was scaring the daylights out of people way back in 1836. So, what's the worst thing you'll see behind the second door? A dirty old skeleton? Bowls of oatmeal? Hmm, there you go. The second door is your exit to freedom.